Good morning, guys. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to redo this video because apparently when I thought I was sharing my screen, it was still just showing me. Uh, and so that's not the most helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again. Push the right buttons there. And then I'm going to go through how to do the lap again. Entire screen. Okay, so this should show my entire screen the whole time now. Actually, I'm going to try something different. So this is this application. Okay. All right. Okay, so for this lab, and the, the written instructions are really pretty thorough, but I, it seems like it is not very clear to me, and it may not necessarily be clear to you. So I, I wanted to go over this. So here's our Unit 2 lab. Always, of course, start with your list of structures to know, uh, and you're going to need to do, watch this video. This is just showing you how to study for this lab, and it's very important. Please be sure you do that first. And then you have um, <clears throat> a couple of uh, pre-lab pre assignments, well, one pre-lab assignment. This is a, the f a first link was the video in entirety for both sections. This link is the first half, and then there's a, the second half link in the second folder for next week. So whichever way you prefer to watch that, if you want to watch it in one uh, I pulled a lecture from a class last semester, and if you would rather take a short chunk, it is here for you. Pre-lab, this video does not apply to the pre-lab, okay? That's not on the website. So this applies to the lab, all right? <clears throat> so here is the assignment, and then I have also given you the directions on how to upload and save those uh, where you can actually type in directly to this assignment, all right? <clears throat> I'm trying to embed as many of these links here where if you need reminders, you can just find them quickly, all right? So uh, what I want to do is show you kind of how this assignment works and how to use this website. That's how I just went on this morning. So you're going to go to the box where it's kind of like using a microscope. So it says click here. So we're going to click on there and open that up. And this takes you to uh, the Chapter 2 section of epithelium here. And this is where I want you to read the information that is here on the screen. All right. And uh, I'm going to give you a specific link here on the tape. But then you also can come back here and explore different slides. So this is the page you would want to come back to for that. Okay. And so the way this particular um, website works is you click on one of those. All right. You need to be sure that you are viewing this appropriately. <clears throat> you do not want to draw what you see right here in your box because this is not helpful. You have several different types of tissues here, all right? So you need to be uh, at at least 10x usually. And then you're going to kind of explore and move around and look at things and see if you can find the tissue that I'm giving you directions for. And this does sometimes take a little bit of time um, to... Uh, focus in, but if you'll wait, it will focus in, okay? And so you can first explore, look around. Uh, if you're looking for, um, I'm trying to think of some uh, simple squamous epithelium, you might not see it right here, right? And so what you are going to do is click on the words, all right? And they will take you to places where you can see, as in this picture right here, that is the simple squamous epithelium. So look around first, try to find it yourself, and then click on the word. And I give you explicit directions in this worksheet, okay? So it says click on simple epithelium, and that will actually take you to the one I want you to uh, study. So remember this one here, I just clicked on here, and I wanted you to use this one. So I give you a direct link to that. So you follow those uh, examples there. It says click on simple epithelium. And you may want to have these open side by side or print your paper off because I give you more directions. It says zoom into the examining first picture. 
All right, and so this is the first picture, and so we want to zoom in. Be sure you're on at least 10x, okay? And so if we're looking at simple squamous epithelium, and you watched my intro video, you probably realize that this that I'm looking at right here, this is hyaluronic cartilage, okay? And so look, first try, if you can find squamous epithelium here, you know, you might not be able to find it at first, and that's okay, because that's what I like about this website. Directions, and that takes it to you, takes you to the simple squamous epithelium, and in this case, it is pointing it out with arrows, right? Let's look back at the document here. Uh, I told you to do that. I said, click on renal corpuscles. All right, and so if I click on that, it would have taken me straight to this, okay? And so what you're gonna do then is I will have you draw that view in this box, all right? This box right here. You're gonna draw that view in this box. About being an artist, features that I talked with you about. And then there's gonna be some questions over here for you to answer, all right? And so you're gonna go along and follow more directions and I give you direct links to where I tell you to go. It says pick another slide for simple squamous epithelium and try it again. Okay. And so I give you the link here. And that will take you back to the main page. You can of course get there by back paging, but I wanted to make it as simple and easy as I can because this is a harder unit. All right. Uh, and so then I tell you to do some quizzes. So uh, that those are not for credit. Those are for the, to benefit you, but you really need to do these, okay? Um, and so it's been a while since I've been on the website. Ah, quiz right here, all right? And there's a link in my instructions. So once you get through all of the epithelium section, trust me, before you take this lab exam, you really need to come here and practice. And so you've got five uh, here in the top part and then part two. So you have eight different epithelial slides to look at. Study all of those and then go to the quiz. Okay, the quiz is much, much uh, like the exam. The type of the lines the small. Well, when look, it will zoom you in where you need to look. Try to identify this type of epithelium. Well, here I see goblet set and they look pretty tall, so single line, there you go. It will give you the answer, simple columnar. So this is a really, really good way to practice for your lab exam. Be sure that you study lots of different pictures and lots of different your APR because they can look very different, and you have to learn to look for those defining characteristics. How did I know this was um, columnar epithelium? I knew it was simple first off because it's one layer, all right? And um, I don't know if I can use my pen to draw on this. Um, I don't guess I can. So this section here, I'm looking at this right here. I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, but uh, there's thing in the center there where I'm zoomed. And we are on the section that is facing that free surface. Remember, our simple usually epithelial, they will either lie in the back of a vessel, so they'll be in that circular path. So our surface is not too boiled because the nuclei are near the bottom and there's a lot more room on the top, so it's columnar and it is simple because there is a single layer, all right? And then of course we have to put the word epithelial. And so um, some of these are a little longer than the others, which it just takes up a lot of room. Uh, and remember, to get any credit, you have to draw the pictures, and I really prefer you to draw the color, and you need to label them, okay? So you can see on this page here, it says draw cells like the nucleus. That might be a little different each time, so be sure that you closely read the directions, all right? I took a lot of time to type this up for you guys because Histology is typically the hardest unit for students to master. And without me sitting right there helping you, I wanted it to be as clear as possible, okay? And so I hope this video helps. I'm gonna replay it and make sure it's showing my screen and not me the whole time. 
Uh, and so I will post this and stick it in the announcements ASAP. And please, anytime you see something like that, um, I just created this course for online this summer, so everything's brand new. If you see something that's not working right, let me know right away because I will jump on it and get it fixed ASAP. All right, so good luck. You guys can do this.